Welcome to the step by step tutorials. We are here with the third video of the series in which we intended to learn about the crystallographic planes. Today we will focus on some complex cases in the crystallographic planes. So our first case is 632 cubic crystal plane. We have to draw the cubic crystal plane with the mirror indices 632. So our first step will be to find the intercepts. So take the reciprocal of the Miller indices and we will get the reciprocal is 1 over 6, 1 over 3, 1 over 2. So simplify the fraction and the Miller intercepts will be 1 over 3, 2 by 3, 1. 1 over 3 is the intercept along the x-axis, 2 divided by 3 is the intercept along the y-axis and 1 is the intercept along the z-axis. So this is the region 1 over third distance of this edge up to point A along this axis x axis and this is the region 2 by third up to point P of this edge along y axis and this is your complete edge so your intercept is 1 and this is point C when you join point A to B B to C and C to A you will get a plane that will be 632 cubic crystal plane Next is 221 cubic crystal plane. So, step for finding the intercepts. So, take the reciprocal of the Miller indices and you will get that reciprocal is 1 over 2, comma 1 over 2, comma 1. So, intercepts are 1 over 2, comma 1 over 2, comma 1. No further need for simplification. So, 1 over 2 is the intercept along the x axis. 1 over this 1 over 2 is the intercept along the y axis and 1 is the intercept along the z axis. If this is the distance 1 over 2 of this edge along the x axis up to this point A, and this is the distance 1 over 2 of this edge along the y axis up to point B. So this is complete edge, so your intercept becomes 1, and this is your point C. When you join point A to B, B to C and C to A, you will get a plane that will be 2 to 1 cubic crystal plane. Next is, we are given the crystallographic plane and we have to find the Miller indices for this crystallographic plane. When you observe this crystallographic plane, so you can see that it has clearly intercept along the y axis and it has no intercept along the z-axis since it is parallel to the z-axis but it is not parallel to the x-axis so there must be intercept along the x-axis but we cannot see clearly from this situation so we will how we will deal with it we will learn in this tutorial so first of all the information given to us so this distance in one over third of this edge and this distance is third 3 by fourth of this edge so this remaining distance will be equal to 1 over 4 and this remaining distance will be equal to 2 by 3 so what we have to do so we have to find the intercept of this plane with respect to the x axis for that we, we have to shift this plane toward the right so that it intercepts the x-axis at this corner so when we shift it we can see that now it is intercepting the x-axis at 1 and there is also intercept along the y-axis then also intercept along the y-axis so since we have shifted it by 1 over 4 so it will be also shifted by 1 over 4 in this region so this is 1 over 4 the remaining region is 5 by 12 so for this plane the origin will be this one now the intercept along the y axis is minus 5 divided by 12 and intercept along the x axis is 1 and there is no intercept along the z axis so intercept along x axis is 1 intercept at y axis is minus 5 divided by 12 intercept at the z axis is at infinity so intercepts of the plane are 1 
minus 5 to the 12 and infinity take the reciprocal of the intercepts and we will get 1 minus 12 divided by 5 and 0 so remove fraction we will get 5 minus 12 and 0 so the Miller indices will be equal to 5 12 bar and 0 where this bar represents the negative sign next is we have to find the plane that will intersect the position coordinates 1 1 over 4 0 1 1 1 over 2 3 by 4 1 and 1 over 4 so first of all we find these position coordinates in this figure for the first position coordinate we have to move 1 along the x axis 1 over 4 along the y axis and 0 along the z axis so this is our position coordinate 1 1 over 4 and 0 for the second one we have to move 1 along the y axis and 1 along the x axis and half along the z axis so this is our position coordinate 1 1 and 1 over 2 for third position coordinate we have to move 1 along the y axis so this is 1 along the y axis 3 by 4 along the x axis this is 3 by 4 along the x axis and 1 over 4 along the z axis so this is your position coordinate 3 by 4 1 and 1 over 4 now join the first point to the second and second point to the third and extend the line to the this axis it will intersect this axis at this point so position coordinate for this point will be 1 over 2 1 and 0 and it can be easily find by simple mathematics now join this point to the first one and you get a plane and this plane will be the required plane that intersect the t position coordinates next is we have to find the miller indices for this plane so we choose the origin this one for this plane and remove just things we don't need further so first step will be we have to find the intercept for this plane so when we observe this corner so we can see that it cuts the x-axis at 1 over 2 but these position coordinates are with respect to this origin and we have to find the intercept with respect to this origin since x-axis is positive with respect to this origin and negative with respect to this origin so just subtract 1 over 2 from 1 and we will get an intercept at along the x-axis is 1 over 2 and later we will we will put negative sign here next is we have to find the intercept along the y-axis so you can see that for this position coordinate the y coordinate is 1 over 4 but this position coordinate is according to this origin and we have to find intercept with respect to this origin and x y x is positive with respect to this origin and negative with respect to this origin so just subtract 1 over 4 from 1 and we will get minus 3 by 4 and we will later put minus 3 by 4 because the intercept is in the negative y axis direction so intercept at the z axis is 1 over 2 you can see that this for this position coordinate the z axis is 1 over 2 and this z axis is same for both of these origin so z axis is positive for this origin and z axis is positive for this origin so intercept of the plane are minus 1 over 2 minus 3 by 4 and 1 over 2 so take reciprocal of the intercepts we get minus 2 minus 4 divided by 3 and 2 remove fraction we get minus 6 minus 4 and 4 so miller indices will be equal to 6 bar 4 bar 4 where bar shows this negative sign so please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to be updated with our future videos thank you